Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. If you are new here, hi my name is Sophia and today we are going to be playing part 8. I think it's part 8 of our Ambitions Lepacy series. Last episode or last part, they moved into their new house and both Juliet and Joe mastered their careers which in turn means they fulfilled their lifetime wish and they aged up into adults. Now last part, I wasn't able to show you guys Juliet's makeover. Let me tell y'all, Juliet's makeover has been a pain in the ass to say the least. I basically made her over like three or four times <laughs> and now I'm at a place where I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna leave it at this point. I feel like I like her other outfits more than I like her everyday wear, so I might give her another everyday wear, but right now, like, I am not going to change anything else, but I do think she looks cute. I just think I, I could have done better. If the makeovers aren't in that part, it's just because I had way too many fucking difficulties with their makeovers, to be honest. I gave her glasses only in her everyday wear because I, like, kind of imagine her, like, having her glasses on as she's, like, making her clothes and she's, like, styling her clothes, you know? What I mean she's like pinning things on the mannequin and shit like I don't know I just kind of imagined it like that so that's why I gave her glasses and then I just gave her like tattoos which you can see better in her other outfits sorry I do think it's cute I do but it's just um I don't know. Regardless of all that, she does have work today. I don't want to be doing makeovers every part, every time I play them again. You know what I mean? So what I think I'm going to be doing is if I see one here that I don't think that we have done before, I will go and do it. But like facial hair, we've done that. I don't know if we've done new money wardrobe, so I might go and do that one. Multiple everyday wears, we've done that. You know what I mean? So I feel like if I feel like we haven't done it before and we could get a like portfolio picture out of it, then I'll go and do it. But I'm not going to go and do every job because we already mastered this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? We have other things to focus on. That being said, uh, she does want to or she does miss Theodore. So I think we are going to call him and see if he's busy. But, oh, he is busy. While we wait for him to not be busy, I think we can work on maybe our painting skill because we're closer to finishing that one. Something's been going on with my game recently. I don't know what it is. I think I need to clean up my CC folder a little bit because I have been going a little bit crazy with the CC cc shopping and now she's starting to act up i do have a couple new mods so joe's on her period oh so is juliet is she like in the floor or what is going on like why is she not showing up now juliet are you okay why is everything like taking forever to render forever to load we've got like invisible sims the whole fucking episode imagine can't even click on her because she's not showing up okay there's joe still not rendered though fantastic okay i'm not gonna lie i think my save is like broken as fuck but um we're just gonna pretend that it's not we're just gonna pretend that it's not broken as fuck right now and hopefully we can just power through and then all of a sudden it won't be broken anymore also you guys i heard the tv and i was like let me turn this off and then i realized that the fucking gnome was watching it the gnome is literally, he's enjoying the TV. So like, why would I turn it off? Why would I deprive him of that entertainment? So there are some things now that we've reached this milestone that I want to start focusing on, right? Number one, I did elaborate a little bit on their jobs. I don't think that we're gonna be focusing on their jobs as much anymore. Instead, what I wanna do is I want to actually make a store for them where Juliet sells her sculptures and Joe sells her inventions. I think that would be really cute. Another thing is now we are going to be starting to focus on, you know, um, families family life and all that shit since theodore is working out and you know it's shaping up to be you know real promising i don't have any really reservations about theodore so i do think that we are going to have them become official pretty soon and we can like kind of focus on that a little bit because i do think that julia wants kids I don't think that she wants that many kids, maybe one, maybe two max. And then Joe, I think we established in the last episode that she does not want kids. She doesn't want kids. She doesn't really, she isn't really looking for like a lifetime partner like that. I really feel like Joe and Juliet are like each other's soulmates. You know what I'm saying? Like not, obviously not like a romantic soulmate, but like they're really like all they need for each other. And it's especially all what Julie or what Joe needs. Like she doesn't really want or need anyone else besides her best friend which is Juliet and her job that being said we are going there are a couple of things that I want to focus on for her which is number one 
getting her inventing skill up. We do have the time traveling machine. So, um, I do want to travel probably to both the past and the future. I've never done this before, so I don't really know what can happen in the time machine. So I'm kind of excited to work or to play with this a little bit, but I don't know if we're going to be doing that this episode. She Well, she does want to visit Egypt. I do want to do that because here's the thing. I feel like Joe has now aged up into an adult and she has lived a lot of life in this new town and everything. She has freed a lot of spirits a lot of ghosts. So when it comes to her dad, I really feel like it's time for her to finally get that closure. Yeah, so I think we will do that in the next part. I don't think for this episode we're going to be doing anything crazy like that, but I think we might be going to Egypt in the next episode because she's been wanting to go to Egypt for a good minute. I actually might, I might get her inventing skill to level 10 and then go to Egypt. So hopefully we can get it we can master it today. Also, oh, obviously. Oh, she. Parenthood can be a joy, but not if you are not ready for it. Now is the time to plan ahead and make sure you take extra precautions. I need to. Hold on. Pause. Current fertility 70%. I don't understand. I need to look into this mod a little bit more because Office of Reproductive Services, get a pregnancy test, contraceptive pills, attend birth class, and early parenthood class. Okay, interesting. I'm like confused. If we go to the grocery store, can we get like tampons and shit? Like, I don't, I really, listen, I'm going to be honest. I kind of just got the mod and didn't read anything into it. So we're kind of figuring this out for ourselves. I don't even remember what the mod is called. Sculpt him. Oh my God. <gasps> Wait, what if we sculpted Theo? I'd be down for that honestly okay let's shop for groceries because i want to see if we can buy anything lubricated condoms okay pregnancy test wait wait contraception wait this is cool what's nicotol dude no way we got plan b in this game like i think this is probably for trying to quit smoking i'm assuming i'm not sure Okay, is the nope still watching TV? Oh, it is. Okay, I'm sorry, babe, but it needs to be turned off. Like, you're running up our bill. Oh, she wants to kiss him. Yay. Oh, he's here. Where's my man? Is that him? Oh, it is him. Let's give him a kiss because she wants to kiss him. And she wants to woohoo with him, so we might take him back to the house. Be like, hey, babe, how you doing? You want to sleep over? I feel like they need to become official this episode, like, for real. The fact that they're not is a little bit crazy. Because I... What the fuck? Wait, why? What is happening? Hey, this isn't you. Stop. I feel so bad for her. Why is he rejecting her? Look at her. She is struggling. Let's see him. Let's see him. Aww. Why can't you just love us? What's going on? Can we just like, what if we just flirt with him? Okay. He'll flirt with us. He'll flirt with us. Yeah, okay, he's feeling it. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. Period. Period. Joe's going swimming. Please don't drown. Okay, there we go. We just had to butter him up a little bit. And kiss. Period. Okay, and then we'll see you later. We'll see you tomorrow, bae. Tomorrow we'll go on a date. Oh, okay, now he's thinking about us. See, now he's like, okay, period. Julia, you did that. You did that. I think Joe looks so good in her swimwear. I've started to, like, add little, like, unnecessary accessories, like sunglasses and shit like that. That aren't necessarily practical, but, like, I don't really give a fuck. You know what I mean? And I'm, like, kind of obsessed. I was shocked to see such obscene infidelity. What is this world coming to? What do you think? And, and then all of a sudden, Thomas and Joe are no longer friends. Who do y'all think they're talking about? Oh my god, I need to show you guys her fucking sleepwear because it's literally so cute. She just got she got her little bonnet and a little silk matching like robe set and then like some little slippers. I don't know, I'm obsessed with her sleepwear actually. <laughs> I think I need to look up how the time machine really works and like what you can do with it because I'm actually kind of scared because I don't really know what you could do with it like at all. And see, look, hang out with Theodore. Girl, like you just woke up. <laughs> How about let's take a shower first, you know, have some breakfast, maybe, maybe do a little sketch, and then we, we call him up. You know what I'm saying? Donate to the arts or Burgess Hogan United. 
We'll donate to the arts. We'll, don we'll donate a thousand dollars to the arts. Why not? Feeling generous and made a donation to charity. She will always remember how the cockles of her heart was warmed by her own generosity. What is cockles? Okay, come take this, and then we'll call him and see if he is busy today. I'm sh assuming he is, because he is a doctor and it's Thursday, but maybe there's a chance that he's not. He is busy Shadow in four mate. hours. Okay. Well, that gives us time to continue painting, so I'm going to have her do that. And you are going to come here and invent, because you need to start inventing more, like for real. Let's call Theodore and chat with him, see if he's free. Should we ask him out on a date? Let's ask him out on a date. Or should we just invite him over? We're just going to invite him over, and then we'll ask him on a date here. Oh, he's straight from... Oh, look at him and his scrubs! <gasps> He literally just got out of work. Oh my god, he is so fine. In his pink scrubs. Hey baby. Oh, you look so cute. What the Somebody fuck happened to our trash? The hell what are you doing? Are you almost done? Oh my god, she is. She's almost at level 10. We are going to change or have him change because we're gonna go on a date. What can we do? Can we go to the movies? A 10 movie. Oh, we can. Okay, let's go to I'm Dying, Let's Dance. <gasps> Yay! Congratulations, Joe has just improved her inventions go to level 10. Joe has reached the pinnacle of inventing. If she hasn't already exhausted the simpler inventions, she'll discover them in no time. A bigger, more awe-inspiring awe idea has been simmering in the back of her mind. With just a little more inspiration, this jugger juggernaut of an idea could become an incredible reality. Oh, yay, Joe! You did that. You did that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yes, you did. Mm. Oh, well, you know, it, it happens to the best of us. Even the masters, right? It's okay. I think I'm going to have her travel. Should I go to the future or to the past? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like if we're going off of Joe's life experiences... Maybe she would want to go to the past to see if she could like reconnect with her dad or something like that So I think we're gonna go to the past. Let's see Let's see. I'm like nervous. I'm actually gonna like poop my pants Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay And then she just stays in there and who the fuck knows what happens when you get out You can leave at any time Seamus. Wait, what is Joe picked up a nice flint axe from a flint axe, Jesus Christ, from a friendly Neanderthal and accidentally dropped it in the time stream during pickup. Hopefully it doesn't end up somewhere dangerous. Bitch, you can't be doing shit like that. What if it literally what if it kills your father? <laughs> oh okay, purr. The keeper of time jumped out of the time stream almost on top of Joe while she was trying to save an important civil war politician. It was all Joe could do to get away before being captured girl what is going on over there i'm like scared for her okay wait they're becoming a couple hold on we need pictures Aww. Aww. and now they're together why wasn't there any music <laughs> She wants to paint a portrait of him. Okay, period. We can definitely do that. She's entered an exclusive relationship with Theodore. The moment where Theodore became her boyfriend is one she'll always remember. Oh, I'm so happy for you. She's just like, oh, yay, you're my boyfriend now. <laughs> oh, y'all are so cute. Uh, you can't even see his face through her hair. <laughs> um. Okay, uh, let's go... Where's the grocery store? We need some condoms. <laughs> okay, I need her to come in here, but I do think that it's gonna fuck up their date. Yeah, just go in. It's okay. Come on. Oh, wait, but you got money. Has gone some place she's been before. The past. This is one memory that'll go in the scrapbook to share with the grandkids. Aw. After proving she meant no harm, Joe was allowed into the year of a famous Mongolian chieftain. It was quite an entertaining evening, and nobody got hurt. Yay, she's back. I think. Travel in time. Adventures in time are not for the faint of heart, cowardly, or historically inappropriate. Cheered up. Gobs of sobs are stopped by the kind of words by the kind words of others. Cheered up. Oh, she got cheered up. Oh, yay. Okay, so she had a good time in the past. Thomas and Janae are doing fine. I don't really care for them. After exploring in time, Joe came back with some money, and she came back with 2K. 
not bad at all actually let's have her go to sleep and then we are going to buy some <laughs> some uh yeah just um oh it's a pack i think we only need one right what how, do, how does this work open the box okay and now a wawa poppy <laughs> okay use why can't we use where's my man did he go home oh he did Okay, we might just go over to his house. Where does he live? We're gonna we're gonna stay the night at his house. <laughs> Why not? We have things to celebrate here. We're in fresh boyfriend and girlfriend, and we do have some condoms because she is ovulating. And I don't want babies just yet. You better answer the door. Oh, he was about to go to bed. Bay, you getting ready for us? <laughs> Let me stop. Let's kiss him, and then we're gonna ask him if we can stay over. Period. We can say what, right? Sure, make yourself at home. That is literally all I wanted. So thank you very much. He has 99% fertility. Theodore Lavelle. 99? How do I make him use these? I'm confused. If we woohoo... Let me look up this mod. Um, it's the birds and the bees mod. That's what it's called. Okay, but how do I make... Like, am I gonna have to make him part of my household in order for him to use a condom because that's how it's feeling right now we're just gonna um let's woohoo with him and we can take some plan b in the morning you know what i'm saying if anything because he is real fertile and she's real fertile too oh from anticipation of seeing lover wait i think this oh wait this isn't their first woohoo but it's their first woohoo in bed so kind of is yeah episode one movie yeah lord Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> well, he didn't use a condom, so, because we still got six here. Oh, they're cuddling. Mm, that is so cute. I love that she's having a sleepover at his house. Oh, someone's calling us? Who is it? Not Alistair. No. We just... No. Ew, he aged up. Look at his hair. And now he's calling us. Goodbye. I wish they could take a bath together. That is so cute. I want him to make us food. Like, can you make us some food, please? I would really appreciate it if you made us some food. Oh, is he going to work? I think it's time you left also. Oh my god. You didn't even feed us. Whatever. I don't think she's pregnant, but I'm scared that she might be. Just in case, we're gonna go get a plan B. Read label, current amount, five. Description, had a little too much fun last night. Want to avoid that fun turning into a responsibility down the road? Option two helps you avoid that responsibility a little longer. <laughs> That's, wait, I love that it has like a label and everything. All right, let's take the pill. No. I've forgotten about Carl and now he died. No. Oh my. I literally like just remembered about him right now. Like now that I just saw him. Carl. Oh my god. No, I was doing so well. I was like, okay, you're gonna go eat and then you shower and then you feed Carl and I literally, I can't believe Carl has died. All around me are familiar faces, worn out. I can't believe Carl died. Like, how do you just die like that? I don't know what to do. I don't know if we should get another one or not. You just got a really inappropriate message. Huh? You just got a really inappropriate message from Thomas Dudiel Castor. Janae's husband. Asking if you're up for some woohoo. How will you react? I'm telling y'all, he's a fucking dog. He's asking Joe. No. You fucking weirdo. What the hell? Yeah, let's stop being friends then. Things are too awkward now. What the hell? 
he's so weird he is so he is so he is so fucking weird like he's just weird like you are so weird get a grip what the hell we're gonna have to like i don't know like i don't even know i don't know i don't even know what to do about that do we tell janae and like risk breaking up the marriage do we tell Juliet and see what she does with it? I don't know. I literally, I don't know. I feel like, honestly, Thomas is going to cheat on her right in front of her face. And then she can figure it out from there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do in that situation. That is so weird. I can't believe he did that. Like, we knew he was a dog, but, like, that's, like, straight up dog. What are you making? Is that, like, a bar stool? Oh, no, it's, a, it's just a chair. Well, that's kind of cool. She's almost done, right? Okay, and then let's invite him over because I want to sculpt him. Oh, oh, she just made, she made a brilliant sculpture. Sculpted a brilliant old Sam's bar stool in wood. It's worth 775 simoleons. Damn, Juliet just created a sculpture worth at least 500 simoleons. She will always remember when a fun hobby became something valuable, which that's actually perfect because like, this is like her realization, like maybe I should start actually selling these and then they, you know, make their business. So I'm going to have to, like, start um, creating their store. But that's super cool. I don't think we're going to go watch a movie. I think we're going to stay in tonight. Girl, what are you singing? <laughs> what is going on in there? I mean, he just kind of came in, which, like, I'm not mad about. I'm just... <laughs> I just think it's funny. Let's um, kiss him, embrace him friendly let's ask about his day and applaud hard work and we will tell him a funny story and then i want to sculpt him my love oh my love is so cute oh my love i kind of want to let's put him in um a shirtless outfit <laughs> because i want her to sculpt his abs <laughs> I'm so sorry about it. I really am, but like I'm not, you know? Am I wrong for that? I don't think so. I don't think so, no. Is this is this your pose, Theo? Is this what you're rocking with? Let me see. Yeah, the torso is giving. Like, I hate to say, but this is everything. You know what I mean? I think he's trying to go for like a serious face. I mean, it's it's giving. He's so fine. Yeah. Yep, that too. Thank you very much. <laughs> I hope it comes out good. She just made a brilliant sculpture, so I'm hoping she's got the potential to make this exactly how it's supposed to be, you know? They might be doing this all night, though. I'm not gonna lie. This shit looks like it's gonna take forever. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, not the lash mesh. I think that's what that is. Oh, my... The chain? No way. What? That's so cool. I've never seen this before. Oh, she wants to kiss him. She's like, damn, babe, you looking good right now. I can't even lie. Level nine. All the sacrifices born for this craft were worth it. Juliet has reached the top and is quite deserving of wealth and fame. The way to that wealth is by producing masterpiece sculptures which she has a good chance of doing at this level masterpieces sculptures are highly prized and sell for a good chunk of simoleons i love that oh my god wait okay torso Get, wait it's hard to imagine that day going any better playful banter gave way into gazing each other's eyes and oh my word did the time go oh i'll look back on dates like this with a smile thanks for showing me a good time i should head home Aw, he is going home, but that's okay because we basically finished this sculpture of him. That was pretty much what I wanted to do. Like, that's really her man. Like, how do you feel about that? Look at, look at, that's really your man. <laughs> She's more worried about the fact that she needs to pee. It's worth 800 simoleons. Damn. The challenge of capturing Theodore's nose perfectly. Aw. 
I mean, she really, like, that's his profile. I don't know. She did well. I'm not gonna lie. Probably gonna have her do another one of him because this one's a good one, but I want to see what, like, a brilliant one looks like. You know what I mean? All that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part right off here. In this part, we honestly just kind of chilled a little bit. We worked on our hobbies. Um, we mastered Joe's inventing skill. We traveled to the past juliet and theodore actually became official and she made a sculpture of him so i honestly it was a very chill episode but i don't know i had fun making it i hope you guys had fun watching it we'll see what happens in the next episode i really don't know but i am excited for it i hope you guys are excited for it i hope you guys have a great morning evening afternoon night whatever time it is whenever you guys are watching this oh i just hit my mic with my headphones my bad make sure to leave a like subscribe maybe even leave a little comment if you're feeling up to it and i will go ahead and see you guys in the next one goodbye everyone